Hey everybody, my name's Chris. Welcome to Casual Fragrances. So today I have a cool little video here. This company, uh, Toomey, has some fragrances. And um, I'm gonna try them out, give you a first impression, see if I like them. Um, the company that actually sent me these, the website is called uh, So Aunt Garden. I'm gonna leave the website down below. They have designer fragrances and niche fragrances. And if you spend $60 or more, you get free shipping. So I'm gonna leave the website down below and all the different fragrances they have on the website. So these these samples were sent to me. I'm gonna let you know if I like them or not. If you like fragrance reviews, first impressions, and giveaways, I hope you consider clicking that subscribe button down below and make sure you click the bell icon so you're notified when I upload new fragrance videos and giveaway videos. You'll be first in line. So name of the company again is called Tumi. These fragrances are Auto Perform Concentration. So Tumi is a company. They have everything like luxury. They have uh, purses, phone cases. Um, they have like pillows for your neck for traveling. They have nice traveling um, luggage for when you travel abroad or whatever overseas or just around the world. Ladies and gentlemen, you should definitely check them out. I'll leave the website down below too. So there's two fragrances here. I'm going to go over the first one. is called Awaken and it's a uh, 0.8 GMT. Then I'm going to go over uh, Unwind 20.00 GMT. So both these are auto perform concentration. They both cost $100 for a 3.4 ounce bottle. The first one's Awaken. So I'm going to spray it on my skin. Okay. Okay. So Awaken opens up it has bergamot grapefruit we have coriander the mid we have clary sage fir cypress top it off with the base we have obanum patchouli cedar wood okay so this one here opens up very fresh you're definitely going to pick up the bergamot the citrus opening with some grapefruit you're definitely going to pick up some patchouli in this fragrance here this is going to be on your fresh and clean type of fragrances. So fragrances like that are going to be in a category of Dior Sauvage, Blue de Chanel, so on and so forth. Those type of fragrances, this is what Awaken is. And out of the two fragrances, this is my favorite one. This is one that I could see myself wearing day to day. Now, the few times I worn it from my sample, I got about six hours of longevity. So it's not too bad. Projection, it pushes for the first hour. Very strong. I mean, people catch whiffs of it for that first hour. Then it comes closer and closer to the skin, but... Longevity in about six hours. Now keep that in mind. After that first hour, it's gonna it's gonna calm down somewhere. It's not gonna be heavy. It's gonna be closer and closer to the skin. But this is a great gentleman fragrance. You can wear it dressed up or dressed down. I don't think you're gonna offend anybody by wearing this fragrance unless they don't like fresh and clean type of fragrances. Now, the patchouli is nice in there. It's 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 not heavily strong, but it's in there towards the um, more of the mid and dry down. This fragrance here. And the cedar wood's nice too, leaves a nice little blend in the fragrance itself. There's some clary sage, but not a lot of clary sage in this fragrance here. You know, it could be a, there's a little bit of incense in it, but it's not heavily incense. It, but you could pick up some incense in it. And the coriander's nice, it's kind of smooth. The coriander's kind of light on my skin, a lot of coriander, the note of coriander in fragrances, but this one's nice, man. I enjoy this one a lot. I think out of the two, I would buy um, Awaken the most. And this is the one my girlfriend prefers over the other one. Next fragrance we're talking about is from the house of Toomey. And this one here is Unwind. So there's two of them in here. We're going to talk about Unwind here that I took out. So let's spread on my skin. This one here has notes of uh, aquatic lemon, ginger, lavender, geranium, vetiver, oud, and sandalwood. So I'm going to spray this on my skin. This one's a hundred dollars for a hundred mil bottle too. <laughs> okay, so right off the rip, this one you're definitely going to pick up that oud in the in the forefront. You're gonna pick up some freshness with the lemon in this fragrance. It does give it a little aquatic vibe, but that oud comes out right in the forefront on my skin. Now I do like oud and fragrances, don't get it wrong, but it's kind of hard to mix the freshness. Um, like the aquatic and the lemon freshness with the mix of oud because sometimes I feel like it could be doesn't mix well or very well or doesn't blend very well. It's okay. It's very different. It's the least of the two of my 
of my of my fragrances that I like in this collection. This one is the second one. This is the least one I would want to buy. But there is some sandalwood in this fragrance here. You do pick up some vetiver that kind of gives it that greenness in the fragrance. But it's... I don't think it's going to be the most appealing fragrance to most people. I think the first one, um, Awaken, is going to be more mass appealing to people that are going to gravitate. They're going to smell both these fragrances in a department store. They're going to probably pick Awaken over Unwind. And that's fine because that Oud knows very different. If you smelled Oud fragrances, you're going to like this fragrance because I feel like it's a... A nice subtle oud. It's a simple base oud where if you're new to oud, you might like it. But a lot of people are going to think it leans on the stinky side. And sometimes that happens. It's fine. I mean, every fragrance, you're not going to love. You either love it, you like it, or you hate it. So like I said, I don't hate the fragrance. It's not my go-to. If I'm going to spend $100 on these fragrances each, I'm going to go with Awaken. But now it has slowed down a little bit. I do get a little bit of a choc chocolatiness in this fragrance with that dream. It kind of gives off a chocolatey dark feel. And I do like it. Um, the lavender is really nice. Gives a little nice well blended in it. But it's not a lavender where it's like a barbershop Fougere vibe. Not at all. Nice smooth. Gives a little touch of a nice uh, smoothness in the fragrance. I don't pick up much ginger. That's funny because it says the top notes of ginger. Don't pick up ginger. I pick up that aquatic feel a little bit. I get mainly that lemon opening. And then it, it, it fades real quick and you get the oud in it. And it's okay. I Both fragrances, I've tested them both out on my skin. And I got about six hours of each one of longevity. And they both push for the first hour of longevity. That's pretty much it. Um, Like I said before, my girlfriend prefers Awaken over uh unwind and that's fine both fragrances are a hundred dollars um i'll leave the link down below you can buy discovery sets too you can definitely get samples of these fragrances here uh to me they're auto perform concentration um like i said before that's pretty much it um if you heard these fragrances to me or the company i know they sell kind of luxury goods and stuff for traveling leave a comment down below which one do you guys want to try you want to try awaken or unwind Thanks for watching another fragrance video. If you like this type of content, hope you consider liking this video. Make sure you click that subscribe button down below and click the bell icon so you can notify about new fragrance videos and giveaway videos. You'll be first in line. If you like this type of cool videos outside or in my car, let me know down below. I'm trying to change it up a little bit for 2020. Hope you guys have a nice and safe day and a nice and safe holiday. If you celebrate the holidays or not, just be safe. I'll see you guys next video. Peace.